What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. You already know who it is, it's Ron Tan from Metroholics. And today, uh, we're gonna be going over a new product that I made. It's the uh, SBRR, also known as Shift Boot Retainer Ring. Um, just to clear things up, and hopefully if you guys do purchase it from me, make it a lot easier for you guys to install it. Again guys, this is a Shift Boot Retainer Ring. All it does is hold your Shift Boot in place for the ones who broke their Shift Boot rings, their OEM ones or never had one, or if you converted your car from auto to manual, this is for you. Again, it's a shift boot ring and all it does is hold a shift boot. So I'm just gonna go over some quick things that you should do to make your life a lot easier. So let's get to it. All right guys, I'm just gonna be giving you guys a little product review of um, the Savage Ones SBRR, also known as the shift boot retainer ring. Um, this is the OE piece with a broken mounting point. Um, this is still usable, but for those who break the mounting points um, on one side, uh, this piece is pretty much useless. Um, the shift boot retainer ring main function is supposed to hold the shift boot onto your center console or radio bezel, or whichever one you guys want to call it, um, in place. So again, this is the OEM one with a broken piece. As you can see, this is normal. This is what happens with old plastic or if you guys are you know, manhandling this plastic piece, uh, these tabs tend to break very easily. So I went ahead and made my own, um, which is available in my store. Um, so here it is. This is the piece that I made. Um, you're going to be getting it uh, just as you see it, um, minus the rough edges. Um, just because of the way how they're made, they have a rough edge. So uh, pretty much what I do is I just smooth that for you. I shoot some black paint on that mug to get it nice and clean. Um, again, it's a shift boot retainer ring and its main function is to hold the shift boot in place. Pretty much mount it onto your center console so that it doesn't slouch or it doesn't droop or move around. Um, and I will show you how easy it is to put it on. A lot of you guys are having some issues. I'm getting some emails of people having some fitment issues, but this is my center console piece, radio bezel, whatever you guys want to call it. I'm going to show you guys a trick on how to put this on um, without having any issues. Uh, the main thing is that, first of all, you have to make sure that the mounting points on the center console are legit. If you have broken tabs or broken um, mounting points, this piece will not help you regardless of uh, whether you get it or not. It just won't work. In order for this thing to work, it's gotta have mounting points to mount onto. So again, if these are broken on your piece, I can't help you there. <clears throat> but if they are intact and they are functional, this is how easy it is to mount that shift boot retainer ring. So here are the screws. Again, I'm gonna go show you guys the trick on how to put them on. First of all, you gotta make sure you get the orientation correctly. There's, no, there's only one way to put it on. So the orientation is this little divot here or this little cutout as you can see, probably can't, but so there's this little cutout piece right there. See that little cutout? You're gonna put it towards the back or the rear of the uh, center console radio bezel, okay? Now, the main thing here and the key issue um, with how people are having issues putting this on is that first of all, do not, and I repeat, do not over tighten the screws to where you actually have to screw completely down. Um, that's where you're gonna fail and that's where you're gonna have issues. So the first part is pretty much you wanna start off the screw, but do not drive it down completely, okay? And then as you're doing that, you're just gonna keep going around um, until you get all the screws in place, okay? There's a little bit of persuasion when you have to mount up the uh, screw uh, pretty much to line up the holes. Um, the mounting holes, but again, this is not hard you guys. It's fairly simple. If you can't do this, you shouldn't be working on your 240. I mean, it's hard to say that, but <laughs> again, it's, it's, it's a shift boot retainer ring. It does nothing but hold your shift boot. So again, the key thing is get these screws in place. Do not tighten them down all the way. So as you can see, I got them all on pretty much with ease. Now, once the holes um, and the screws and the shift boot retainer ring are all lined up. Now you can final tighten the shift boot retainer ring into place. Okay. And again, just want to make sure with caution, as with any plastic piece, you over tighten that piece, you can potentially break the mounting point, break the mounting tab, 
or break both and then you're screwed. So there you have it, it's on. And all its function is to do is just hold your shift boot. So now I will show you how it looks like when you put a shift boot on. I mean, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but just for you guys so you guys can see it, I will mount up my shift boot. Um, it is a custom one, so that won't matter. Um, my custom one uses the same um, mounting points on uh, the boot to the retainer ring, so that does not matter. Okay. Here's my shift boot. Okay, it's a custom one. Um, I just have to figure out the orientation. So one second. So this should be back here. All right. Again, if you're using the OE piece, it's the same thing. You know, you're going to be putting it and installing it the same way. All right. So make sure that divot's in the right spot. Okay. Now, let's get that excess fabric out the way. And then you slowly install the piece. my shift boot retainer ring on the OE center console radio bezel. Again, it's as easy as that. If you guys are having any issues, you can email me. My email will be in the descriptions below. But again, as you can see, there is no issues on mounting this piece onto your center console radio bezel uh, OEM piece. So again, the main thing is, is that you have to make sure that your mounting points are tried and true and they are functional and they are not broken. And then if they aren't, you guys are good to go. So there you guys have it. This is the Savage Ones SBRR or the Shift Boot Retainer Ring. And um, it is a fully functional piece on the OEM center console radio bezel. So there you guys have it. All right, guys, and there you guys have it. That is the SBRR Shift Boot Retainer Ring available at savageones.bigcartel.com. Again, thank you guys for the support. And as always, for my day ones out there, you already know what time it is. Hype is for the moment, and style is forever. Deuces.